The fourth scenario is despite drying the baby and despite additional stimulation, the baby still doesn't breathe. So we are then going to do bad mask ventilation. Okay, so good Mrs. Lawrence, you are fully dilated. Okay, and this is the day we've been waiting for. Jeremy's going to be born. Okay, so with a contraction, a good push, 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 wonderful. Hello, Jeremy. Hello. And we're going to dry Jeremy. Okay. And we're doing involution of the uterus. Dry his head, his back, his legs, his arms. Get rid of the wet towel. We're going to put him skin to skin on the mummy with the nice warm towel on top of him. Remember this doesn't have to be rushed because where is he getting his oxygen? From the placenta. Okay, exactly the same as intrauterine. Good, Mrs. Lawrence, please check that your baby's breathing well. Thank you. Sister, he's not breathing. Oh goodness, he's not, he's not breathing. Don't worry. Okay, so this time I'm turning in towards me so I can do it better. And um, you have saw what we did in the previous scenario. Again, I've got my suction device. I'm not rushed. The fat lady singing. Okay, so I then go into the mouth before the nose and the mouth. Open your airway. Make sure your airway is open. Nose, nose. Okay, Mrs. Lawrence, rub your baby's back, love. Rub your baby's back. At this point in time, I want to say we never repeat a step. So if he doesn't start breathing now, I'm not going to suction again and rub again. Then we go to the next step. Look at your action plan with the HBB. Now, do I now clamp? and cut the umbilical cord and run to that horrible thing in the corner? No, because the baby's not breathing, but he's still getting oxygen, volume, pressure, stem cells, um, HB will be better, everything, heat transfer, so the placenta is even keeping the baby warm. We're not going to clamp and cut it. We are now going to ventilate the baby on the mother's back. Uh, on the mother's, yes, the baby's going to lie on the mother. And just look how perfect the anatomy of a woman is. Airway obstruction, perfect. Airway opening. Please keep the baby warm. Don't expose him. Okay. This is a full-term baby, so I am taking... A full term baby's mask. Check the popple valve. Okay. Now I push the bed forward if I'm in the labor ward. But here I'm going to bag mask the baby here. Remember the correct grip and hold. And we will then just open a bit to check the baby for breathing. Breathe two, three. Breathe two, three. Breathe two, three, breathe two, three, breathe two, three, breathe two, three. So now I'm giving pressure and the baby's still getting oxygen from the placenta. And I do this bag mask ventilation for one minute or until the baby spontaneously breathes. And rah, he breathes and hippie hurrah. Okay. If the baby, if you, you cannot get a chest rise, then there are five things you must remember to check. Mr. Sop, M-R-S-O-P. M means I reposition the mask. R means I reposition the head. S means I might need to suction again. O means I'm going to open the baby's mouth before I put the MB on. And P is I am going to increase the pressure that I give. 
Remember I said the correct way to use an Ambu bag is just one finger. Why? Because this is a 230 ml volume bag and a baby's lungs is of 70 to 90 ml. So I don't want to do this. Okay, I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to give enough pressure for a chest rise. So Mr. Sop, mask reposition, reposition head, suction the baby, open the mouth, and more pressure. Okay, so now by this time, I check the umbilical cord, okay, and it would have changed color from purple blue to snow, snow white. And then it is the good time to clamp and cut the baby off the placenta. Should you be busy with the baby and helping him breathe and the mother says the placenta is being born, okay, what you then do is you just birth the placenta still attached if the, it's still purpley blue and pumping and you just put this next to the mother and forget about her and let her pump and pump and pump until it's snow white and the third of blood volume that was there is now in the baby okay so when it's time to clamp and cut the umbilical cord what we do is we've got an artery forceps and a plastic cord clamp you then go two fingers from the baby's abdomen and you clamp the umbilical cord clamp there and then five fingers from the baby's abdomen you will then clamp the artery forceps okay and then you will cut in between with the scissor okay cut in between and there's the placenta and there's the baby. Okay, so I really, really hope that this could help you. Um, please feel free to contact me if you need any clarity on anything. And God bless, stay safe, and um, thank you for what you're doing out there for your patients. Keep well. Bye-bye. <laughs>